Hi friends, welcome to my channel Music and Tech. Again, this is Kevin. Today I'm going to teach you how to resolve audio dropouts. Usually I'm experiencing this thing when I'm using my Windows PC uh, on Ableton. And then um, just explain to you what is an audio dropout. So it is something that happens when your Ableton suddenly gets uh, cut off or get clipped or suddenly the tr sound drops because um, suddenly because of the load of your Ableton it gets uh, overloaded then the sound will cut off so yeah let me have a demo on that so yeah let me play something and try to get an audio dropout Suddenly the sound gets clipped, gets cut off. So that is an audio dropout. So it is a nightmare for if you're if you're performing as a solo or as a group. So if you're performing live, you should avoid it at all costs. So what are the things, the practical ways that I did to resolve audio dropout? So first is to um, switch off my Wi-Fi. Okay. And then, yeah, it will get better. Yeah, so you didn't hear any audio dropped out there. But sometimes you need to have more MIDI tracks in your performance. So for example, if I'm going to load this, then perhaps you will experience it again but um, from my experience whenever I do this I do experience audio dropouts so yeah This one is going to 47, 48, 49. This is your CPU load. So if your CPU gets too overloaded, then you will experience audio dropouts. So what I usually do is I would um, select all these tracks, MIDI tracks, and then, sorry, and then I would freeze them. So if you freeze all of these, your load will go down. Then you would uh, somehow avoid uh, getting audio dropouts. Yeah, so that's another practical thing that I do. But uh, if you can avoid uh, putting so many tracks on your Ableton uh, live set then try to avoid that um, another thing that I usually do before I go for a performance I always check my Windows OS if there is an um, update required so for example this one I have an update that is needed so I would try to install all the updates before going to the performance and after I have updated everything then I will pause the update for seven days yeah so that's the practical thing that you can also do and then um, so another thing that I always do is um, you have to go to power and sleep and then set everything to never because um, yeah uh, if the PC is for example detecting some sort of inactivity then it will prompt it to uh, go to sleep the, I mean the PC so you have to switch this to never 
So the thing that um, if you do this, then the power usage or the battery usage of your PC is quite a lot. So um, there is a need sometimes for you to um, always keep your PC plugged in during your performance because this one is consuming a lot of battery. So yeah, that's another thing that you can do. So the last thing that you should do is to um, find that sweet spot or the perfect combination for your uh, buffer size and in and out sample rate. How do you do that? Is you go to your options, preferences, and then go to this audio tab. Then you can see for myself, I have set it to in and out sample rate at 44,100, and then at a buffer size of 256 samples. So if you will see, there's no option here for you to change it. So what do you need to do? You have to go to the app of your um, audio interface. So for myself, I have my Roland Quad Capture. You just open this up. And then go to driver, um, driver settings, then here. So you can change it here. So hold on. So buffer size. If you adjust this, see, this one changes to 3H4. Then 512, yeah. Then you select low latency, so I'm going to put it back to 256, yeah. Yeah, I think that's about it. Those are the things that you can do to reduce your audio dropouts or prevent it from happening during your live performance. But um, honestly, when I was I have done all of these practical things to prevent that, it still happened. I have some uh, experiences of having dropouts. So what was my solution? There's only one solution for me that is really like a foolproof um, way of resolving these audio dropouts and that is to switch to MacBook and that's why I bought my MacBook uh, with an M1 chip and with a 16 gig uh, memory and then yeah all my audio drops out dropouts even if I switch on my Wi-Fi was resolved yeah so I think um, I hope you learned something today uh, if you like my video, please click like, and then if you want to see my other videos, please click subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye.